Hi everybody, it's Olivia Grace. I am going to do a 30 day video challenge where I make a video every day for 30 days. I'm actually a little nervous you guys because I'm pretty busy. So a video a day seems a little bit challenging but I'm gonna try and keep them short and sweet and straight to the point so that I can complete this. But consistency always brings positive momentum to whatever you're trying to manifest. So I know that this will be good for me, for my business, and good for you guys because you're getting 30 days of content. So um, what I really wanna make my videos surrounding is manifestation. You know, that's what I love to talk about. Um, that's what my business is about, is teaching people to manifest things. So the first story that I wanna tell you is how I manifested my apartment that I'm in. I'm actually um, about to move next month, but a year ago, I, um, in January, I had broken up with my ex-boyfriend um, and moved in with a roommate. Uh, one of my coworkers from uh, my job at the time. And uh, we, I stayed there for a while, everything was great. Um, and then she let me know that um, something was happening. They basically needed me to leave in like two months. So I started to look for an apartment. And at this time, you guys, I had no car um, and I was working at Red Lobster and paying rent to the roommate that I had and also trying to save up for a deposit to move into another place. So in my free time, I'm Ubering from place to place to place. First, I'd call the people, you know, ask them like, what is the room going for? Because when you're looking for apartments, room uh, rates change every, um, every day. So I would call them and ask them, you know, what is this, you know, what, what is the price for a one bedroom? Um, Uber to the place, get to the place, they wouldn't have the price that they told me over the phone just a few hours ago. Um, I would Uber to the place and let them know like, hey, I have really bad um, credit. Like guys, my credit was in the 400s. I don't mind telling you guys. It's since improved a lot. So I'm really happy about that. But um, at that point, it was in the 400s. And this is just this time last year. So um, you can imagine how I was getting denied everywhere. But the thing about it was I would let people know up front like hey I don't have good credit you know um, am I gonna get approved or am I gonna get denied and they'd be like no you'll get approved you're just gonna have to pay more but then I would end up getting denied so the whole thing was just I'm wasting my my uber money to get there I'm wasting up to two 250 spending on application fees two of the apartments to this day still haven't sent me my money back um, for the part that they're supposed to send back um, so I was just struggling you guys so what I did to manifest my apartment was I made a list. I made a list of everything that I wanted to have in my apartment. Um, I wanted to be on the top floor. Um, I was used to being on the terrace level. When I lived with my ex, we were on the terrace level and a lot of bugs come in your house when you're on the terrace level. I don't like that. You know, I'm, I, I'm actually pretty afraid of bugs, so that didn't work for me. I wanted to be on the top floor. I wanted um, to have a fireplace. I wanted um, stainless steel appliances. I wanted all these things, but you know, this is after me getting denied so many times for even just basic things. Um, and really, you know, time was getting closer and closer to where I had to move out. Um, so I made that list. I released it to the universe, everything that I wanted and um, just let it go and just said, you know, I, somehow it'll work out for me. Um, I want to say maybe like a week after I made that list. Um, not more than two weeks because all this happened very fast. There was a new girl at my job and she had just moved here. And for some reason, I think I was talking about trying to move or she was talking about um, how she had just moved here and all this stuff. And I asked her, well, where do you live? Like, what apartment do you live in? And she told me, you know, it's an apartment in Snow Mountain. And I was like, oh, that must be really far. She's like, no, it's, it takes me maybe like 20 minutes to get here. And I was like, really? And just started, you know, we started talking about it. And she was like, yeah, I got approved on the spot. You know, they didn't even ask me for um, pay stubs. They didn't even ask me for um, anything. Like, I was like, they didn't ask you for pay stubs. Like, automatically, I'm like, that's weird. You know, anywhere that you apply for anything, they're always asking you for pay stubs or proof of income or, you know, all this other kind of stuff. She's like, yeah, no, they just, and she was like, yeah, I had horrible credit, horrible. And I got approved on the spot. And I was just like, really? And it, I just knew 
like she starts showing me the apartment and they have the stainless steel apartments, uh, the stainless steel appliances. They have the fireplace. They have like all the things that I wanted to manifest. Um, nice size apartments. Like they had everything that I wanted on my list. And in that moment, I almost started to cry because I knew that this was what it what was meant for me this was it was actually happening and I was still nervous because I got so much rejection and been set so far behind um you know but I still you know I went to apply I think like the next day was approved on the spot it was actually my mom's birthday and she happened to be in town and came with me and um I was approved on the spot and um I actually went through a lot more after that actually getting the apartment I didn't the only thing I didn't end up getting was my stainless steel appliances up to the last moment I was supposed to have them but I just never got them but um everything else on my list came true and what was more important was I had a place to lay my head and that's something that I'm grateful for every single day because I think I said in a previous video you know if you're not having a home or not having somewhere to sleep or not knowing if you're going to have somewhere to sleep is one of the worst feelings to have um, so every day I appreciate this place, but I feel like that was probably long. So I'm going to cut it off here and I wanted to share the apart, my manifesting an apartment story. Um, like I said, guys, my credit was in four hundreds, the impossible, there's no such thing as impossible. Um, and you have to really believe that in order to manifest the impossible, you have to believe in the impossible, believe in the unseen and have immense faith. Um, and that's what I teach people in my manifester coaching business is how to have faith, how to rebuild your beliefs so that you can rebuild your reality. So if you're interested, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and guys keep tuning in cause I'll be coming to you every day for 30 days. So wish me luck y'all and have a great night.